Greenfield, CEO of Finca Microfinance Network. I'm here back in Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, and here with my wingman, Richard Kennedy, who's the CEO of Finca UK. Today we're headed to the office of Finca Uganda to meet the staff. And now we've got two very full days where we'll be meeting clients here in Kampala, the capital. And then we'll be heading out to the town of Musaka. It's about three hours drive here. From here we'll be crossing the equator in the process. And we're going to also be talking to clients. So we're all quite excited about this. And we have brought with us a reporter from the Telegraph in the UK who's going to write an article about Think you on then our, our work here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We have in our presence the president and CEO of Pinka International. Recently, the president uh, of the Republic of Uganda passed a ruling that whenever there's a gathering, we shall be singing three anthems. Oh. One is the national anthem. Mm -hmm. The second one is the East African anthem, mm -hmm. and the third one is the anthem for the company or organization where you are. Oh. So we're going to ask you to sing the Thinker anthem for us. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 who, who was the founder of Thinker Uganda? John Hodge. No! <laughs> 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 21 years ago, I came, I arrived at Entebbe, and I went out with a guy named Sam Chikwana. We went out to Jinja, and then we went out to Kimantu Village, and uh, I organized the first village bank. And now look what, I, look what this tree has grown into. <laughs> She doesn't take time. You can tell him your story. I have very few words. Finca is a very good institution. I've been with Finca for so long. How long? When they were still on Bukanda Road. It's quite a long time. Yeah. When you took your first loan, 300 shillings, how how much stock? Oh, I was not in this. I was in a small something on William Street. Huh? How big? Like this big? <laughs> she has that. Like hard table. Like <laughs> table. <laughs> table. <laughs> so you're a good business woman. Yes, I am. Oh, wow, we're very happy to have you with us. Today. Nice to meet you, Mr. President. So mm -hmm. what uh, can you... I'm not the president of the U.S. You said? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yes. that's what he told me, President. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. So how long have you uh, worked with Finca? Like uh, three years. Three years? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me uh, any change in your life bef uh, since before Finca and now? There is a lot of change. We started doing small carpets, now we have a lot. So all these come from Dubai? Yeah. Yeah? Dubai. Okay. Dubai. And, and, and are they made where? China maybe? China, no. No? No. Where, where do they make them? Dubai. In Dubai? Yeah. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, everything okay. How's this? <laughs> uh, this material usually used for farmers. Farmers, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So a farmer would come all the way in here to buy yeah. stuff. Wow. He used to come here and buy. So the, the farmer that lives farthest away, who is your customer? How many kilometers? Uh, in, they come from all Uganda. No. All really? Spaces, yeah. Wow. Even Karamoja. All, yeah. Yeah. Gulu, Soloti. Wow. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, so you are you are very well known. Yeah. How I'm known because many years I'm dealing with this business. Okay. How many? Mm, now about twenty. Twenty. Wow. Well, we're happy to work with you. Thank you for your business. Yeah. And good luck to you. Nice day. All right. Okay, so now we are going to uh, get into our vehicles and we're going to drive about three hours to our branch in Masaka 
where we are going to meet some clients who are selling our renewable energy product, which is a solar lantern, solar powered lantern, and also some clients who actually are, have purchased these, and we're gonna ask them, you know, what kind of benefits they're receiving. So, uh, let's go, shall we? Biggest selling item you have? Uh, it's mainly shirts and, mainly and trousers. Yeah. And where do they come from? From Kenya, Dubai. Where? Where do you, where do you buy them? Dubai. Mm. And some from Italy. Yeah. And that, for example, that green shirt and tie. How much do you sell that for? Uh, minimal. 15,000. 15,000. Do people yes. bar bar bargain with you? Say, no, I'll only give you 10. Or no, if uh, if I realize that you are under haggling mm -hmm. eh, system, mm -hmm. I have to say like 18,000 so, <laughs> so that I can reduce up, uh, up to 15,000. <laughs> <laughs> This roof covered for a normal family, mm. but the lights are all LED, uh -huh. so they don't ask a lot of power. Mm. And phone charging, it's the same, two and a half watts, something like that. The moment you add on a fridge or mm. uh, a television, then it, bec it becomes more demanding. Yeah. So they are now also developing s solar TV, solar fridges uh -huh. that are more power <coughs> efficient. Mm. Makes much more sense to to connect them there. Mm. How are you? We are all right, thank you. How are you? My name's Rupert. Do you know where I'm from? China. China? <laughs> 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 no. uh -huh. Denmark. Not Denmark? Denmark either, no. Where else? What? America. America! There you go. <laughs> you were the winner. <laughs> so we're finishing up our trip here in Uganda. We had an incredible time. Uh, we spent the first day in the markets of Kampala looking at urban clients telling their stories of their struggles and their successes. And then we came out to the southwest of the country here in Masaka, where we had a very different experience. We came out to two rural groups uh, who are off the electrical grid. And we saw some of our innovative products like our solar lanterns uh, which are powered by solar panels and which allow the clients a number of benefits. As one woman sub summed it up, uh, she said, I no longer get ash in my throat. And by that she meant she didn't have to light her house with a wood fire and have all the smoke in the house and everything. Uh, they're also able to charge their cell phones. They're also able to uh, not spend money on paraffin, which has a double problem. One, it's expensive for them, and the second, it often, you know, catches fire and can actually burn the whole house down if it's not controlled. So, uh, this was a real eye opener for me. Uh, we saw also a social entrepreneur 
educator who set up a school in this village and she's teaching six different grades. She's employing seven teachers. Uh, really some amazing stuff going on here in this remote village of Uganda. So uh, it's with a heavy heart we leave. We made a lot of great friends here, met some really inspiring people. Uh, and tomorrow it's off to Tanzania.